So um, let's get into it because I just know that you have, you know, we have so much material to get through and I, we have a limited amount of time. So why don't you start off by telling us how you got into the industry? Well, uh, I, was, I was originally from Orange County, um, Orange, California, Southern California girl. I grew up uh, with a whole lot of brothers. And, um, my family was, I'm going to say they were, they would have been very conservative. Both my parents passed away when I was young. I was in a very traumatic car accident with my mother when I was about seven years old. And it had a huge impact on me when I was young. And, um, I also lost my father a few years later. So I grew up with a whole pack of brothers and my brothers were kind of these wild kids from the neighborhood and they had car clubs and they were in, it was, I guess you would call it like a street gang. It was a car club gang and all their friends used to hang around with them and they were older than me. They were about eight years, 10 years older than me. And I was just this little kid, kind of how I just explained you, you know, just a little kind of eight, nine year old girl. I was always looking at these older kids and they had these hot muscle cars. My brother had like a 69 Camaro. One of them had a Chevelle, all these really hot cars. And I would look at them and go, wow, I want to be just like them when I grow up. So uh, as I started to grow up, I started hanging out at the Orange County Raceway with my brothers and their muscle cars. So in the beginning, I started doing modeling, like bikini modeling, hot body modeling, stuff like that. I would model for the cars and go to the speedway and uh, take pictures in front of the cars and bikinis, stuff like that. And it was definitely not, uh, my focus was not that I was going to be an adult star. I did want to be in magazines and I went to modeling school and I did like some commercials, some jean commercials when I was young, but it was pretty light. Um, as I was coming up to Orange County with some friends of mine, we used to come up on the weekends and see bands play. And this was right when like Motley Crue and um, these kind of punk rock bands like TSOL, and they were all popularized down in the Orange County area. So we thought we were just cool as shit. And we would come up on the weekends and we would go in to see these bands. And I had a fake ID. Many of us did. We had fake IDs to be able to get into some of the clubs to see these bands. And one of the places that we would go after we would go see these bands is we would go to the Rainbow afterwards. Now, you had to be 21 to get into the Rainbow and because in the bar part but I had a fake ID. So one day I was um, up at the Rainbow. We had been to see one of the bands. I can't remember which one. And somebody walked up behind me and tapped me on the shoulder. And it was Clive McLean. Now, Clive was the senior photographer at the time for Hustler Magazine. He was this really adorable English guy. And he wasn't very tall. And he said, hey, darling, you're so beautiful. You should be in magazines. And I was like, well, I am a model. And he goes, why don't you come over to our table? So I walked to the back of the rainbow and they had this whole table, sat down with Clive. And he started telling me, he said, have you ever done nude, nude photographs before? And I was like, no, I don't shoot nudes. You know, the whole conversation. All of a sudden, this woman walks in, and it was Althea Flint, and she came into the Rainbow. She was with, I think it was Lawn Friend, and there were some other people there. They all sat down. 
the first time I ever saw Althea Flint, all I, I thought of her like as like a Joan Jett essence. And I was just, you know, really looking at them. They said, yeah, you should shoot for Hustler. And I was like, Hustler? I didn't even know what Hustler was. I had to like go and, and go, what, what is Hustler Magazine? And so I had not actually seen at the time an actual Hustler centerfold. But when I was booking um, my photo shoots and stuff like that, I had been offered to shoot for Penthouse. So I said to them, well, you know, somebody offered to shoot me for Penthouse. And they were, as soon as Clive heard me say that, he was like, we have to have you for Hustler. So Althea chimed in and said, oh, you don't want to shoot for that old magazine. You should shoot for Hustler. We're the best and all this stuff. And so I was really impressed. And um, that was kind of how it began. They said, why don't you come up? check out the magazines and stuff like that. So I wound up coming up to Los Angeles and then started shooting with Clive. He did a test on me. Um, I shot so many layouts, covers for Hustler. And immediately um, I was shooting for Clive. Then there was Jay Stephen Hicks. He shot me for Penthouse. And then a little while later, I would meet your mom, Suze Randall. I can't remember. I was trying to remember if I had actually, I think I had already done my first adult film when I met your mom. So it must have been a little while later. But in the beginning, I shot for Hustler and I shot for Chic. And um, they immediately started using me in all kinds of things. Um, I worked on a set with Marjo Gortner and um, they did a layout called, um, uh, what is, it just escaped me. It was a layout with this woman on the cross and it was called, Oh My God. And we were on, at this table where we were all part of this last supper, but the, the girls, the models were all turned upside down. So we were kind of the feast with our legs open like that. So it was kind of like this huge controversial um, wow. layout. And at the time it was very shocking. And um, I remember the first time anybody from my hometown found out that I was doing nude magazines was one of my brothers. Uh, I had magazines and one of my brothers picked up one of the magazines in my family's living room and was like, Oh, hustler. And he starts looking and he opens the magazine and I was in it. And I was like sweating all of a sudden. Cause you didn't recognize me. You couldn't yeah. even recognize me from like, Lenny Allen, the girl from Orange County, who was like walking around in Vans tennis shoes to all of a sudden like this, you know, chic hustler centerfold. And it took him a minute. I could see his face change. And then my brother was like, <laughs> threw the magazine down and said, I can't believe you would do something like that. And I remember right then I, I was like, well, you don't know about you know, what we stand for in the adult entertainment industry. And you don't know what Larry Flint stands for. And, and, and it's all about our first amendment and freedom of speech. And I was trying to explain it to my brother and of course not doing a very good job. It was all very new to me, but at that moment, I think I kind of realized that all of these things had begun to resonate with me. And I was very impressed with the Flints. I learned a lot from them. You know, Clive and I, we dated for just a minute or two, and then we became very best friends. And um, he shot me for all kinds of stuff. We traveled all over, went to South of France. And eventually, he was the one that was behind me getting my Lifetime Achievement Award at the, at the Cannes Film Festival 